All right. So we headed in. Headed into the live spot. We got a lawn over here. Hammer. Uh-huh. Anyway, so we're moving on. We went out today, we used the cow cow roller. Cow cow roller is proving to be very good. You can see. Yeah. I don't even have pretension on my rubbers. No pretension. So I still gotta figure that out to get maximum, but it's shooting well. So here's the kitchen sweep. Usually we pick up like a palani or a kala or something like that. But this week we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do the uhus. So we have a special recipe, something I've been eating. You like this one? So, mm -hmm. so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do pickles and fish. I know, you've never, I know, nobody's ever heard of freaking pickles and fish. But that Ryan Myers guy, he started doing the Chick-fil-A thing and we're gonna do pickles and fish. I've been eating it, it's killer. It's right here, we're gonna take a I like that karate chop. Are you just testing it? It's still changing color, you know. Nah, I was in the water, we should We're gonna be creating fish and pickles. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing. So the reason we're doing it, and the reason I, I really like this is we've been eating those um, Chick-fil-A burgers and oh, they're so good. It's such a good way to eat uhu. And uh, I noticed that you can just delete the bun and it's a super good poo poo. Uh, so, so here's what you need to do this, okay? So you gotta go shoot yourself some uhus. So we've filleted our uhu, and we have a number of fillets here or chunks. You also need pickles, fish and pickles, huh? So pickles, we have one empty jar of pickle juice, and this is what you want. That's the kind you want right here. What you do not want, don't buy this. Don't buy this. It's sweet. You don't want this. It doesn't taste good. I mean, it tastes good, but not for this. 
okay? So what you're gonna do is, it's real simple. With this one, we're not gonna cut it into burgers. We're not gonna make oofs. We're gonna make chunks, put the pickles on top, and put the sauce, like a poo-poo or something like that. It's gonna be super good. Final stage in prepping your fish. So it's all chunked out in a bag, in a bowl. If your wife, you should put it in a bowl because she'll be very mad if you don't. Anyway, but here's what you do. It's super simple. You take your pickle juice. It kind of looks like cooling. You've ever changed cooling in a car and it stains it's there. It's gonna take the juices from it. Yeah. All right. Just gonna pour that in there. We're gonna take it all. Yeah. We're just gonna get that pickle juice. Oh, We're gonna get that pickle juice all over the place. Yeah, make sure you get it. You see how it's like nice and saturated throughout? That's what we want. Now we're gonna leave this till tomorrow. So it's really important when you do this. You come out like every couple of hours or like at night and when you wake up in the morning before you cook it and you just kind of roll this bag over you know you roll it over you bring the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom um and you'll get a nice it, it's important and you want to let it sit you don't want this to be like you know just a little while you want it to see you really want this to soak in to me that's the best um and it's gonna cook it a little bit because there's a lot of vinegar in here. So this is all gonna go in the fridge. This and this is going in the fridge. And we're gonna fry this up to one fish and it goes. Okay, let's finish up this pickles and fish. So we have our fish all marinated. You can see it turned all greenish yellow. This is what you're gonna need to finish this. Flour. Mm. This is important. It's the cheapest cornstarch to sell a KTA. You're gonna need a couple of eggs. Now we have three eggs left. We'll use two of them. We'll probably use three. We need a pan with some paper in it. So you're gonna take your eye. Look at that green goodness. Yeah. Just crack them in here. Eggs in there like that. He's up. Okay. I'm gonna go 50 50 flour and cornstarch. So the way I'm doing it is like this. Close enough. Okay. Take a little bit of flour, egg. Fish, flour, egg, flour. Oh, but here's our fish frying. It's looking pretty good. Pretty low temperature. Pickles and fish. This is all the fried fish. He's tired. He's old. Final stages of pickles and fish. So here's what we got. We got the fish. We got the sauce. We got the pickles. This is how it goes down. Pick yourself a piece of fish. Oh, yeah. Right there. Put a pickle on it. Oh, my God. Yes. We're going to go one bread and butter and one. I can't, it's like I'm faking every single time. And my wife, she can't stop laughing. This shit is super good. Look at this. Oh my God. That sauce, oh, and the pickle, and the ooh. Mm, super, super good. So if you guys wanna try something super different, pickles and fish, I highly recommend ooh. Ono, ahi, it's 
all too dry when you fry it. You need a reef fish. You need a moist, succulent reef fish like this. Palani is good. Those deep water fishes are too dry. So it'll, it'll, they'll be okay. They'll taste okay. We've tried them side by side. The reef fish is better. Pickles and fish, baby. That's a, oh, that's, that's double dip. So good. Anyway, enjoy it. Try it. Pickles and fish, cow cow, HI. I don't have my shirt today. Oh well. That's it. We have our first guy. Jet. Give me a taste test. No, I don't want to go on YouTube. No, you're going to be on the YouTube now. <laughs> Give me a taste test, Jet. Give me a taste. A little bit of pickles, a little bit of fish. Oh, it like, Tastes good. Is that a lie? Is that a lie, Jet? <laughs> <It's delicious. laughs>